I'm checking to see if I can do another video of how I make drinking vessels that are prizes for the curling club. This week I'm working on the last of the steins for the upcoming steins field. These are made with two and a half pounds of clay to start. So my first step is to center that two and a half pounds of clay on the wheel. Well, the first step is really to measure out a bunch of balls of clay that weigh two and a half pounds so I can start with the same amount each time. I've already done that. I've got five steins that I've thrown this morning sitting here. And the clay is pretty stiff. I'm having to work pretty hard with this. But I have that adequately centered on there. Second step is open. Press my thumb down almost to the wheel head. Press it open like that. Um, I think I have it deep enough. Sometimes I don't go deep enough and then the bottom of the vessel is too heavy, way too heavy, but I think I've got that right maybe just press it a little more. Next step is to compress that bottom so that I don't end up with the dreaded S crack. I have uh, other times other clays. Pressing really hard with this rubber rib. I got a nice smooth bottom down on that. Next step, my first pull. Making sure the clay is wet enough, slimy. I'm bringing it toward the center. Like so. I'm going to end up with a stein that looks like this. Seven inches tall, about three to four inches at the bottom, three, three and a half at the top. I use sponges a lot, sponge inside, sponge outside. These are taking, these take a lot longer than the other video I did that when I was making mugs for the mug spiel. I think that video, those mugs ended up being for the year of COVID and that was sad. But <clears throat> this is our first year back to the Steinspiel since COVID and I want to do a really good job on them. I want them to be special. Kind of defining where the collar will be right there. That's about the right width. I use my hands as my measurement. Now I got to pull, pull, pull a number of times to get it up. Right now it is only five inches tall. I want to bring it up two more inches. That'll probably take three, maybe four pulls because I'm slow. I'm pressing in at the bottom and I've got a little bubble of clay that I'm moving up the wall, up to that collar. So that was a nice pull that went from five inches to six inches. This is where it usually takes me a couple more to get six, maybe six and a half, then seven. pretty good. Where are we at? Ooh, six and three quarter. One more pull and I should have it. Making sure I still got the diameter at the top I want. Yep. Okay. Sponge inside, sponge outside. The heater just came on. I'm sorry if that affects my audio. like seven. Oh, just about. I'm going to do one more. There we 
there we go. Now I want to get rid of all these ribs, uh, lines around there. The glaze I'll be using for these steins, um, I want it to blend nicely from top to bottom where the two different glazes overlap, so I don't want a lot of rib finger uh, lines on there to interfere with the blend. So I want a nice smooth side to the to the stein. It also is going to get a water slide decal put on and I need a smooth surface to adhere that to. So that looks good. <clears throat> Again, going back to that opening, is it the right size? Yes. Now I'm going to angle the opening. Um, these are all going to have lids, so I want them all to have approximately the same angle on that interior of the opening. The same angle and it needs to be nice and smooth. Okay, now it's just the final touches trying to make it look a little more with more visual interest. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this tool and trim the bottom. I'm pushing that all the way in so that bead is underneath and I've got a little roll of clay that will catch the glaze if any of it drips too much. Turning the tool over, it's got a little bump right there. I can make another groove. And that's interesting to look at. And then I'm going to do one more up here at the top to kind of echo that. Um, make a make some more balance to the where the visual interest is. And there we go. That's Stein number 26. Uh, the, we will be giving one Stein per household, but because of the nature of the mixed curling, not everybody that curls together will be of the same household. So every, one, every household that participates will get a Stein. That means at least 16, but in the past it's been more like 22, 24, and then I give one to the hosts of the Steinspiel, and then I allow for boo-boos for when there is something goes wrong and it's not sellable. Anyway, that's what the Stein before handle and what have you will be. I'm going to show you what they look like after they're bisked. I have a number that are done right over here. Ta-da! Steins. The Steinspiel is coming. Hope to see you there.